Hey guys, welcome to the second video of the Fusion 480 build series. In this video we'll be assembling the mainframe. As you can see I have everything from the bags as well as the mainframe laid out on the table. So let's get right into it. One thing that I like to do before I start building on the mainframe is I like to take sandpaper and sand around the edges anywhere in here. This is so that whenever I'm hooking up my electronics later that there are no wires whenever I'm wiring everything up. That there are no wires that are going up against the edge and fraying over time due to the carbon fiber just being sharp. So like I said, just take some sandpaper sand through there. One thing that I noticed is blades seem to have already smoothened out these edges, which is really nice on their part, especially good. Something that a beginner might pass up, so it's really nice that Blade did that. Still recommend going through each edge and making sure that everything is smooth. If there's any sharp points, just take some sandpaper, file it out, you'll be good to go. Okay, so first part of this build are going to be installing the canopy posts. Keep in mind that I won't be using Loctite just for the sake of the video to keep it nice and short. This is a very easy step since it's essentially just putting four canopy posts up against the frame. So as you can see that was a pretty easy step, just screwing in two screws for the posts. One thing to just note is make sure that the one with the F is in the front. As you can see it's a little bit shorter than the back one. This is so the canopy fits on correctly. So let's repeat this process for the other side. So you can see all four posts are installed. Keep in mind that there is no right and left frame. It's all depending on where you install your parts. Just keep in mind which frame you're working with. I've seen countless times of working with a frame and then you end up putting, for example, two posts on the, both the same side. Just make sure you have an opposite side that you're working with. Okay, so up next we'll be installing the bearing blocks. Keep in mind that there is a top and a bottom. Uh, but it's easy to find out which is which. The top one is going to have these two screws. This is for the anti-rotation pin bracket. So just make sure that both shapes line up like so. And let's go ahead and install those. One thing to note here is to not fully tighten up these four screws just yet. Once everything is assembled and we have the other frame on this side, we're going to be putting the main shaft through the top here and we're just going to make sure that these bearing blocks are aligned properly and the main shaft spins freely. Okay, so up next we'll be attaching these two frame posts. They go right here and right here. Keep in mind that there is no top and bottom. It's essentially just whichever you want to use. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so up next we're going to be attaching the landing gear mounts. It's going to be just two screws going into the frame. Don't worry about this one up top. These are used for the landing gear. So now that everything is assembled on this side, I'm going to go ahead and take all these screws out, put the other frame on, and we'll get back to you whenever that's completed.
Okay, so up next, let's go ahead and put the skids on the frame. This will be very easy. It's just four, four screws going onto the frame like so. Those will just be going right here. Okay, so up next we're going to be doing the tail belt guide. It's just four screws going in the back of the frame and let's go ahead and do that step. Okay, so now if you have your tail belt, now is a good time to go ahead and just route the belt itself through these guides up here and just go ahead and make sure there's a good amount inside the frame like so. Uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and install the main gear and the main head to the frame. Okay, so up next we'll be attaching the motor to the mainframe. I've already assembled the motor mount and the pinion. It's very easy, it's just four screws right there and then two set screws in the actual pinion. Just make sure you use Loctite and you've already soaked the, uh, soaked the screws in acetone. And make sure on the motor, one of the set screws is gonna be going against the flat side of this motor shaft and just make sure it's lined up and all good. So let's go ahead and attach the actual motor mount to the airframe. One thing to note is that you shouldn't install these screws with Loctite just yet because we are going to have to adjust the actual motor mount. As you can see in the video, these holes were enlarged where these screws go in. That's so you can slide the motor mount back and forth to set your gear mesh properly. The way that I like to set my gear mesh is I like to push up the pinion up against the main gear as tight as I can and then pull it back ever so slightly that you can see a very small movement and just see a very, very tiny click. It's very subtle but you can just feel that small click in the actual in the actual main gear and that is where I like to set my gear mesh. So once you have your gear mesh set to where you like it, you can go ahead and tighten down these four screws. I usually like to go opposite, so I'll tighten down that one. Flip it around. And tighten this opposite one. Like so. Go over here.
and we are good to go. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a very, very slight click. So the gear mesh is good, and we have the motor installed in the airframe. So now let's go ahead and install our ESC and battery tray. As you can see, it just mounts in the front like so. It, there is no top or bottom side. I'm just gonna install it like that because I like the logo to be down here. And you can see there's just six screws in total. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and install the anti-rotation pin bracket. If you take a close look at it, you'll see one side is completely flat and the other has a slight curve to it. I'm going to install it with the curve facing outwards. So the curve is on this side, flat side is up against this side. It's a very easy step, just two screws right here. Go ahead and unscrew them, lock tight them, and go ahead and install the anti-rotation pin bracket. So let's go ahead and do that. Keep in mind that I did not Loctite the anti-rotation pin. This is so that I can easily remove it and install my linkage rods for the elevator ball link so that I can easily take it off and adjust it if I need to. And once I'm satisfied with the length, I can go ahead and install that pin in there and go ahead and put red Loctite on there and reinstall it onto the swash plate. But like I said, still keep that unloctited until we install the actual elevator servo, make sure the arm's 90, and we have our appropriate linkage rod length. So yeah guys, that is gonna complete the build for the mainframe. As you can see, it was pretty simple, nothing too, nothing too hard. So be sure to check out the next video, which is gonna be the tail section and installing the tail to the mainframe. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.